all must die. But he told me what they did. What kind of men they were. Why they all must die. Hey, alright lads, the countdown to Cold War begins here because the multiplayer alpha and betas are done and now launch is only 17 days away. So what's next? You know, a lot can happen between now and then. In fact, we are still waiting on a couple of different important things to be announced or revealed to us. Now, we are talking multiplayer, zombies and warzone, so if you're interested in all of it like me, make sure you are subscribed here and let's head right in. So today we do actually have an update about ranks and prestige, but it's uh, probably not a good sign. But before we get into that, we did have our very first look at not camos, but weapon blueprints or variants in Cold War, and it's, it's looking good. Very epic, but I have to laugh when I see people comparing this to Modern Warfare saying that game took itself too seriously. Are you sure about that? Like, just how sure are you? Did you use the anime weapons? I know I did. Anyways, moving on to Prestige, and you've got to remember that for Cold War, it's not just for multiplayer, it's going to be a single united rank for Warzone and Zombies 2. So a Treyarch developer known as Foxhound gave us a little something on Reddit, where he says it's not going to be revealed uh, until closer to launch, but like I said, we're like 17 days, what, two and a half weeks away? So it's, he's not telling us anything straight up, but like giving us any details, but I'm not getting a good vibe from this. Like, why are they holding off? Why are they not revealing it to us? It just, it doesn't seem to be a good thing. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic, but yeah, it feels like they're holding off on it. For real though, Activision and Treyarch aren't that dumb. They know what we want. We know that loads of people want prestige. It's the big thing people are banging on about. However, they know that if they don't give it to us, it's going to be a controversial thing. So you might wonder why, do, why don't they just give it to us? Good question, but I feel that if they did just have prestige back, they would they would just tell us and it wouldn't be a big deal but you know when you don't want to say something bad or you know you know that something's not going to go down well you do hold off on saying it or doing it okay i'm definitely being a bit too down about this so let's just remember that it has been described as a new leveling journey so we already know that we're not going back to just prestige as we used to know it whatever the new system is i just i just hope it can be good you know. On the flip side, I'm thinking about it, right? The the ranks for leveling of a COD game is such a like a baseline obvious thing, and there have been little changes here and there since like COD 4, but ultimately it's always followed a pattern of you go up to the top rank, then you can prestige at least ten times. The only time they've ever changed it is with Modern Warfare, and it didn't really go down well, so if it was a new system, I don't know what it could be or how good it would be you know like prestige is the thing which has always been there and has always worked i just don't understand why they are so like afraid of it and moving away from it like i just i can't wrap my head around it another massive or hmm, colossal i don't know thing that we are waiting to be revealed in these last couple of weeks leading up to the game is the second zombies map uh firebase z or zm underscore pink those are its code names but we did recently discover and confirm that weaver is looking at a map of kaysan airbase in vietnam which is one of the missions right out of the black ops one campaign so that as a zombies map is going to be interesting i can't wait to be honest and it would be so damn amazing for treyarch to just surprise us and drop a trailer or an intro cutscene randomly one day but at the same time i'm really buying into the idea that it might be a secret and unlocked by completing the campaign so they might say nothing about it because you know back in the day world at war when zombies started you had to complete the campaign then the credits roll then you spawned into nacht and toten and also in black ops 1 you unlocked the map 5 by completing the campaign so maybe they're gonna go back to that kind of thing i don't know it might even come a couple of weeks after the game launches whichever way it goes whatever happens i would be happy if they reveal it and give us more stuff to talk about or if it's a surprise that drops one day um i'm fine with 
either or both. Anyways, fellas, that's all for today. I couldn't really think of anything else that we haven't, you know, that we're waiting on to, to learn about. Maybe more season one content and maybe more clarification about uh, we've talked about it a lot recently though, uh, Warzone going into Cold War and exactly the exact details. Anyway fellas, that's all we have time for today, so stay spicy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.